Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about two different iOS updates, iOS 17.2 and also iOS 17.1.2 which will be released very very soon. But first of all, let's talk about iOS 17.2 and we're talking about some more new features of iOS 17.2 before we move on and talk about the delay that is expected to happen with the release of iOS 17.2. Now, first of all, is this one right here, something called wind down. I'm not 100% sure this is exclusive to iOS 17.2, but I haven't seen this feature before on my iOS 17 device. So basically at nighttime, Apple just will show here like suggestions on the spotlight for wind down just like that one right here where it suggests a website maybe that you used to actually visit during night time and then right here you will be able to swipe and suggest less and then it will give you these two options so suggest less for this website or suggest less for wind down so it doesn't give you these suggestions for wind down during night time. Also within the code of iOS 17.2, there is a new feature that has been discovered that might be coming to iOS 17.2. It's basically the ability to use proximity sign in on iOS 17.2. So what you're getting here is basically a feature that will let you sign in on your iCloud when you have a trusted iPhone nearby into proximity, the pair the devices by scanning the particle cloud and you'll sign in automatically, basically using your device to sign in with another device, which is of course very, very useful and will save a ton of time. Now with Memoji on iOS 17.2, you also get some new poses. Now I don't really use Memojis a lot, so I'm not really sure which ones are the ones that have been here, which ones have been added with iOS 17.2, but there are a few of them that have been added. If you use Memojis and you know about the poses here, let me know which ones you think are the new ones with iOS 17.2. And another really interesting feature on iOS 17.2, when you're typing something like on a text message or anywhere, you know that iOS will give you suggestions here to replace the word with an emoji. Now it will also suggest you your stickers. So let's say in this case here it's typed cat, it will show you like two cats right there for the emojis, but it also shows you a cat that you have on your stickers. So now on your keyboard on iOS 17.2, you also get stickers as suggestions. Now these are some of the new features that are coming to iOS 17.2, but also something really important with this update is of course battery life. Now taking a look at the battery life here for iOS 17.2, Currently, of course, we're on beta three. We get some pretty decent battery lives here. So if you take a look at this, we're about 60% battery life here and it's at eight hours and 38 minutes, which is really, really great. And then the past day here, we got seven hours, 36 minutes and about 80% battery life. And then right here at 75% battery life, almost nine hours on screen, which is actually quite good. And now let's talk about the release of iOS 17.2 and why I believe this update might be delayed a bit now. We have been expecting this update to be released somewhere, somewhere right here on the, on the second week of December, starting December 11th, but most likely it might be like a week further away. So right here you can see we're on Thanksgiving week and Apple won't actually release a beta for this week. Even though they're on a weekly schedule with iOS 17.2 betas, they will skip this week. This of course is the Thanksgiving week and a lot of people will get the week off so there won't be an update this week. Making iOS 17.2 beta 4 release on here, most likely the 27th or the 28th of November, then most likely we'll get another beta somewhere around here than the RC version on the week where we thought it will be released to the public. And then most likely on the 18th or 19th of December, we will get iOS 17.2 released to the public. And now let's move on and talk about iOS 17.1.2, an update that has been confirmed now and it's coming out very, very soon, but we're going to talk about the exact date in a few minutes here. Now, first of all, this update has been spotted by Mac rumors 
and is coming to iOS users. This update, of course, is a small update and won't go through beta stages. It will be directly released to the public. But why is Apple releasing this update when we have iOS 17.2 on betas now and releasing in a few weeks? Well, there are a few different like bugs that Apple has to address with this update. One of them is the Wi-Fi bug, which has been actually bothering a lot of iOS 17 users for a long time now. They seem to fix it with 17.1.1, but it's look, it looks like a lot of iOS users are still having this problem. So basically the Wi-Fi connection just being weak and dropping all the time, that is a bug that a lot of iOS 17 users are experiencing, not being stable at all. So hopefully iOS 17.1.2 will fix that update. Another one will be an update for the keyboard, where the keyboard is actually kind of glitchy and it's not like showing up all the time for a lot of users. In, th in things like mostly like the spotlight or the app library, sometimes it won't show up or it will just glitch. Hopefully that will be included, that fix will be included on iOS 17.1.2 as well. And there's also notifications. A lot of users are experiencing like bugs with notifications where they are not receiving notifications from a few different apps. That is also something that iOS 17.1.2 should fix. So a really, really important update to fix some really annoying issues with iOS 17, even though iOS 17.1.2 was expected to actually fix some of those problems. Now, a lot of these problems have been fixed with iOS 17.2 beta. So if you're on the beta of iOS 17.2, probably you don't see that problem like the bug with a keyboard or the wi-fi problem but if you're on 17.1.1 you should get this update very soon so when it will be released this week most likely it won't happen again just like we talked about ios 17.2 betas this week we don't don't expect apple to actually release any updates we will have to wait for the next week now most likely 17.1.2 will be released on the 27th or the 28th now my guess here is that apple will release it on monday november 27th and then the next date on the 28th, most likely we're getting the fourth beta of iOS 17.2. So if you're waiting for 17.1.2 and you have one of those bugs on your device and it's annoying you, Monday should be the date that you get this update on your device. Of course, again, it will be a small update with no new features, but just to fix these bugs and problems that are still still on iOS 17. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe for more iOS 17 videos and I will see you guys on the next one.